Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to purchase Spore Finance using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. It's actually pretty easy to do. It just takes about 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to be showing you guys basically exactly how step-by-step -step, to transfer your BNB over from your Binance into your Trust Wallet so you guys can buy Spore Finance. Uh, now, I would like to point out as well that I do have a lot of cryptocurrency tutorials on my channel. So if you guys are interested in the new upcoming tokens and you want to be early in on them, I would consider subscribing to this channel as I do have lots of videos coming into the future showing you guys how to purchase all the new cryptocurrencies. Uh, now to get started with this tutorial, just follow along here and I'll show you guys step by step how to purchase Spore Finance. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So I'm going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, you just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once you've transferred your BNB into your smart chain on your trust wallet here, uh, you guys can go ahead and add Spore Finance. And to do that, you guys are going to want to go over to BSD Scan. I'll have the link in the description. And in BSD Scan, you'll have the contract ID. So I'll show you guys what that is here. So you're just going to head over to BSD Scan and type in Spore Finance right here. 
And once you click on Spore Finance, you guys can scroll down and just copy the contract ID. Once you guys copy the contract ID, you could exit out of here and go back into your trust wallet. And then you want to navigate over to the top right where you see the two lines and the dots. And then you want to paste the address in here. Then you just want to enable Spore Finance and click on Done. You will then see Spore Finance here in your wallet. Uh, now, if you guys do not see browser on the bottom of your iPhone trust wallet, you guys have to follow this next step. I'll have the link in the description for this as well. But basically, all you guys have to do to get that is head over to the link and you just have to enable the D app browser here. If you guys just scroll down, you will see there is step one here, just clicking on that link. Then it's going to pop this up here, just asking you to open in your trust wallet. And then it will simply just add the browser. It's very, very easy. So just be sure you guys click on that link I have in the description if you guys need to uh, enable the D app browser. Otherwise, once you've enabled the D app browser, you guys can just go into browser and head over to PancakeSwap. And once you're on PancakeSwap here, you guys just have to go to the top of the screen where it says connect. If you haven't connected your trust wallet yet, all you have to do is just click on connect and then click on trust wallet. And then it will add your code in just like my code is in right there. And then you guys will just be on the exchange right here. It'll show you your BNB balance that's in your smart chain as well, which is nice. Uh, so all you guys have to do is click on select a currency and you want to paste that same address we got off BSC scan in here as well. Once you guys do that, you guys can click on add and then you can click on spore and it will add spore to the bottom here. Uh, now, uh, one thing I do recommend is changing your slippage tolerance to 12%. And to do that, you guys want to go over to where the three lines are, right beside the little clock uh, icon there. Click on the three lines and just change your slippage tolerance to 12%. Click on X, and then you could just put the amount of BNB that you want to transfer over into Spore. So let's just say if you wanted to do 0.1 uh, BNB, you will then get that much Spore. And if you're okay with this transaction, you guys can just go ahead and click on the insufficient BNB balance where it says for me there, it'll just tell you to go ahead with the purchase and then it will show you a more broken down version of your transaction, showing you your exact exchange rates and things like that. Uh, so uh, once you guys are done doing that, you can click on confirm. And then if you exit out of here, your Spore Finance will then show up in your trust wallet in a couple minutes. Very, very simple and easy to do. I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to buy Spore Finance on the Trust Wallet with PancakeSwap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.